Yeah, so this is a nice little village in the Carpathian Mountain area. I was here last year with uh, some friends of mine. And uh, the reason we came here is because there's a house up here. We're going to come to this house soon. And uh, the guy that lives in the house has these bees in the backyard. He's a beekeeper. But uh, there's a lot of beekeepers. But what makes this one special is he's got a little house. And underneath this house are, are quite a few beehives. And so you can go in this little house and you, there's little beds in there. There's four beds and you can lay on the beds and go to sleep if you like. And the bees are underneath making this humming sound that bees make from a beehive. And it's very therapeutic. It's very relaxing and it's supposed to be very, very beneficial for your health. So you can stay for an hour, you can stay for five hours, you can spend the night there. And uh, so I wanted to come here again and experience it because we did it last year and it was really, uh, really special. So we're gonna go in and have another run. Good. And you can try. All right. Haribo. <laughs> How are you? Harisho? Harisho. Uh -huh. Allez, bon. In America, Many bees are disappearing, like not, not so many bees now. Do you know why? Do you know why it is? Вас совсем, ну как бы сказать, другая порода пчел и больше требований. Bees. У вас закон другой, совсем другой закон. Different law. И чтобы не было болезней, чтобы не мешались один род пчелы с другим, с другой другой пчелой. Никакие не добавляют никакие лекарства. Плантации у вас большие и вывозят именно туда. Договариваются, например, с пчеловодом, бизнесменом, кто имеет землю, сады и так дальше. Они договариваются с пчеловодом, который вывозит пасеку именно на его they make arrangement with the beekeeper и so там that, другой не имеет права заходить so that they use their land and mm -hmm. no other beekeeper ну, закон can use более the land. вас жесткий чем it's у нас и это хорошо это have. хорошо and this is good. но к нам привозят сюда but иногда пчелу ну, не, нам не подходящую here sometimes we can get или степ украинскую not... степовую which is not very Или, fitting uh, for uh, Italy, Italian bee, which is not very fitting for the Italian bee, they are different, they are aggressive, they are not going to work like that. There are some bees that are not going to work like that, they 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 are not going to Вот я бабу, я с ними буду работать так. Уля я делаю сам, тоже сам уля. Make what? Больше всего сам. Это водопой. Water for the bees. Для пчел. Для пчел. Это слово для пчел. Это он будет так. Будет капать и сюда пчелы. Отсюда пьют воду. Чтобы они не летали за за водой далеко, они пьют здесь. Somewhere. Ну, смотри, это еще такой способ. Так само, но разные способы есть, тоже так А. There you go, man. Be pollen. Вот пыльца. Но я уже сейчас не собираю, потому что уже поздно. Collecting it. Держи так. It's too late. Все можете кушать. You can eat it all. Take some. Yes. Jai Krishna. Wow.
Прошу. О, окей. О, спасибо. О. So we will sleep on the bees. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть. Шесть семей. Семей здесь. Это около 300-400 тысяч пчел. У нас одинаковые биополя. Пчелы и человека. И при действии этого биополя организм, наш организм, принимает это на себя все. И стимулирует работу всего организма. Снимает давление или поднимает давление. Дальше усиливает кровообращение. Влияет на сердце, на сердце сильно. У меня были здесь дети, которые не хотели, ну, не слушались. Матери. They didn't listen to their mother. Не спать днем ничего. They didn't want to sleep the Сюда пришли, ложились. Через 15 минут нельзя было их поднять. Спали как убитые. Это на 4 человека или на 2. Вот здесь. Семья. Ой, там я сделал на одного человека. О, oh, здесь another one. For one. one. No, one один человек. Uh -huh. Там закрывается. Можете посмотреть там. This is Brahmachari one. И так само здесь. Это вот это вот все. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Namaste everybody, howdy bo, welcome today. This is a very special place. We're at a beekeeper's house in uh, Ukraine and near the Carpathian Mountains. You can see the sun has come out. We were here a little earlier and it was rainy and no bees were flying. And then the sun's come out just a little bit and you can look, I mean, there's bees very active now. And as you know, bees are very hard working people. They, they work all the time. We just had some amazing honey from these hives and also some bee pollen fresh from the hives. So we're here sampling the wares of the bees. Now, <clears throat> interesting little story I remember. There was a story about the difference between bees and flies. And bees are attracted to flowers, they're attracted to pollen, they're attracted to honey. You know, the sweet things. So anytime you put out honey, and the bees will come. And you can see them in the flower. We were just out in the flower fields uh, behind the the hives here where they do their feeding. So many bees there, many bees around honey, sweet things, special consciousness, special attraction. And then you have the other insects known as the flies. And we all know what flies are attracted to. They're attracted to dirty things. They're attracted to stool, they're attracted to garbage, they're attracted to dead things, you know, so obviously a completely different attraction, completely different consciousness. Now think about it. Which would you rather be? Would you rather be a bee or would you rather be a fly? And what we have to do in connection with this is develop our consciousness so we're attracted to the good things, the sweet things, the higher taste, and we'll gravitate towards spiritual life <clears throat> because that's where the real sweetness of life is. 
That's the taste that we're all looking for, the nectar that we're anxious for. But if we've got the consciousness of a fly, we're not attracted to that. We're attracted to the dirty things, the garbage, the low things. You see, and we have no attraction for the sweet things. And unfortunately, many, many people are in the fly consciousness, and that's reflected in the way we live, the way we think, the activities we do, see where we find our pleasure, our happiness, very low, no good for the soul, no good for society, no good for anything. <clears throat> so by chanting mantras and following these regulated principles of bhakti yoga, it changes our consciousness from being the consciousness of a fly to like that of a bee, and we start being attracted to the higher things in life, spiritual life, helping other people, and the fly-like consciousness which produces lust and anger and greed and envy and, you know, just dark things, is covered up more and more, or it's, it's, it's not covered up exactly. The light of the higher consciousness drives it away. It's more like that. And we change completely, and we see life differently. So... Good example, the bees, they work hard, they produce wonderful honey, they're attracted to the flowers, and so this is a good example for us. Develop higher consciousness and you will be attracted to higher life. Develop the consciousness of a fly and you'll live in the stool house. We'll show you one on the way out where the flies live. So this is where the bees live. Now we're going to take a walk to where the flies live. So follow me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we are at the other house. Take a look. This is where the flies live. <laughs> so <laughs> you decide. Do you want to be like a fly or be like a bee? I'll leave it up to you. Namaste. Haribo. <laughs> Okay, Pasiba. <laughs> Till next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs>